Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis, and we have Senmar back. And I had Senmar out here about three months ago for his first serving lesson, and uh, we discovered a lot of things you need to work on. He's been busy working on his serve, and we're going to look at it today, tune it up, get it further along, and see what kind of progress you've made. So welcome, okay. welcome to the court today. Why don't we begin just having you hit a few warm-up serves and let's okay. have a look and see what's going on. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. That looks pretty, pretty good. Got a good action going. And just, again, just make sure you're really trying to get even more to the Continental, okay? okay. Yeah, try that with that okay. grip now. Yeah, that looks great. Try that. Looks pretty good. Got some good action in there. Yeah. I think that you look a lot more relaxed. So more relaxed. You're feeling more relaxed? Yeah. So you're getting more racket at speed with less effort, right? That's right. And your swing looks a little bit more rhythmic, where before you were trying to put the racket back, mm -hmm. now it looks like you're letting it go through naturally. So it looks a lot better. And just be just be you know in tune yeah. with the grip there, really grip. because you still want to kind of get on the forehand side. And, yeah. and, the, and the more we get on the forehand side, uh, the less pronation you're going to have. Okay. And, and when you're here, then you're gonna instinctively have more, more action. Ability to spin the ball and also create more long axis rotation from the shoulder, which will create, yeah. create so your power. the racket, uh, an angle, straight, out there. Good, so you know, like what I do when I come up to serve yeah. is when I come up to the line, I, I basically just have my racket in a, in a vertical position mm -hmm. and then I just put my hand right on top okay. and that puts me really with my index finger knuckle on bevel number two, which okay. is the second one from the top. So I just put my hand on top and there's my index finger knuckle, and I'm right there. And that places my racket, keeps my racket either in a vertical position, and you see some players where it'll kind of settle underneath a little bit where it's on an angle. What we don't want, we don't ever want, is this, where the racket's this way, because that really promotes that flat swing through a channel rather than the swing we're looking for. That okay. looks great, okay? okay? All, All right. right? Okay, let's see you hit and play another one here. Okay, that's all right. You've got a lot of spin on it because you held the grip, okay? Yep. So, so let that racket head uh, pass over the hand and, and travel through the ball. That's better. Good job. Okay, so let's work on a couple of things. When you're, when you're serving, I think it's gonna help you a lot if you look up. So you'll see that most players, they won't go like this and go and hit it. You're going to have a better consistency if you look at the court and then you look for the ball off the hand. So it's going to look more like this to play it than this to play it. Okay. 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 So what will happen is it'll, it'll, it'll settle your body down, keep you stable, so that when you're in the phase of tossing through here, your body's still. See that? And then your arm can reach up and then you can play it. Beautiful. Okay? okay. All right? Gotcha. Okay. So let's try that. Now look up again. Look up. Good. And when you're here, now you're here. You look, you scan the court, you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to shift back and now look for your release point. So now your eyes are going to shift over here. Okay. And now you see the ball coming up. You're looking at it right there and you're looking here. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay, try that. Good. So that's just something that'll help you have less action during the critical phase here. Yeah, right. right? Okay. Okay, that help? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that again. Let's see it. Okay, there you go. That one was a little low and cramped you, all right? So you were a little compressed as you played that swing. Good. That looks much, much better. Much better. Okay. So next up, when you're playing your serve, sometimes you get trapped in a position where you're still sideways. Yeah. I, want, I want you to feel like the, the energy of your swing pulls you around and you face the net. Okay. 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 That's going to take the pressure off your shoulder too because when you swing hard and you stay sideways like this, you swing forward, yeah. 
it's it's straining you a little okay. bit. So let the swing, let the swing pull you forward. Okay. Right? Let, let the shoulder keep okay. rotating. Yeah. Okay. So the energy of the swing, and you could do a demo. We'll just do a demo without the ball. You're gonna play through it, and then the energy of the swing is just gonna pull you around so you face the net. Let's see you do a demonstration of that. Okay? So your demonstration is very different than your serve. Okay. So the more you can demonstrate the serve and rehearse it the way you actually play it, the more the two are gonna to gel together and it's yeah. the, the rehearsal will help you more when you understand that. Okay. Yeah, because your serve is completely different when you serve it than when you do your <laughs> rehearsal. Okay, which is not uncommon because most tennis players do not rehearse enough, okay? okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm... And, and so what happens is they don't really know the movement and it is a choreographed movement. So if I don't know it well and then I get nervous, then I, I don't know what to do. So you really, ultimately we want to really feel like we know exactly what the movement is. So let's do a rehearsal uh -huh. and place the ball up and just relax into your trophy position. Okay. 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 Hold. Now, you got to get to your trophy position there. Let's try that again. Better. Okay. There's a lot going on here. Try it again. And hold, hold, hold. Good. Right? Okay. Stretch here. Good. Head this way. Stretch there. Down the legs. There you go. Good. Okay, relax. All right. I know. Hold, head the other way. There you go, down on the left leg. Good. This is hard. Yeah. Most tennis players don't rehearse, so they don't know. But the yeah. more you get, you do this, the better it's gonna help Absolutely. you, okay? And it allows you, it allows you just to be aware of things. Like when you come up and you just hold, you could maybe check, are you this way? Right. Or are you this way, are you in here, right? This is a big no-no, you head back here like this, as we've talked about before, right? Okay, all right, a couple more. Okay, not bad. Legs. I'm always trying to do this. You have yeah. your legs yeah. together, right? Your feet together? Well, I don't, I don't, I, I'm an advocate of the platform stance, especially when we're learning new things, because when we try to do all this stuff, it's pretty, pretty busy, right? So for, for you, you have two things going on. You have a low toss and you have a pinpoint going on. So you've yeah. got this thing that has to happen very quickly. Do, do, do. Yeah. And when you're in the developmental phase of your serve and you're working on a lot of parts, I'm a more of an advocate of a platform stance and a higher toss mm -hmm. so that you can actually develop these pieces. But at the same time, we also have to do what we, we do naturally. And you've been playing tennis now for how many years? 10, 12 years. 10 years. So yeah. some of these adjustments are really difficult and yeah. some of them may just not be necessary some because- do this also? Because this is- So what? imagine imagination, they do do this also. Players? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a pinpoint. Remember, yeah. there's, there's the platform. Yeah, right. yeah. Like Federer serves the platform where he serves and he doesn't move his feet yeah. until after he's play the ball, then he moves his feet. And then you have players like um, Nadal, he does a pinpoint. Mm -hmm. And there are other players, trying to think off the top of my head, who does a pinpoint right now on, you know, on the tour and they, they bring the back foot up yeah, and they then they serve. Okay, right? I don't even know how I developed that. I think it's just natural. natural. Yeah. It's natural. So as a coach, I have to decide what things are naturally you that, that we don't need to focus on and then look for the adjustments that we need to make that'll optimize your serve, right? So bring that foot up and load your legs. If you feel more comfortable, if you feel more comfortable sliding it up and loading, then, then loading from here, it's awkward for you, then bring it up. Yeah, normally, I think the slice is gonna stay. It good. absolutely yeah. comes up. This is fine, okay? A couple more. Okay. So we're going to go back to that left arm though, and I want you to focus on the left arm, okay? So we're not really worried about where the ball goes, but I, what I want you to do is when you let it go and you're up here, let the arm come underneath and tuck so it's underneath okay. the right hand. Now? What am I doing with my arm? It's just flying down. Ah, uh, okay. And what that does is it, it, it can cause you to over-rotate okay. and lose control and accuracy. Okay. And it doesn't really, and, and what other, other thing that happens too is that Think of this, think of a, like a, like a, if you want to kick a soccer ball, you'll kick it further if you move yeah. quickly and stop quickly and transmit the energy. Mm -hmm. So when you're here and you rotate quickly and you hold, and you hold the body, 
that all that energy, that rotational energy, transmits through the swing. Got it. So you got to get that shoulder action in there to get the arm to accelerate, right? So let the left arm tuck. Okay. Mm hmm Okay? Good try. Yeah. Good try. That now, when we tuck it, this is important. Let's watch all the pros. When they tuck it, it doesn't fold in because yeah. that doesn't initiate any shoulder turn. Yeah. It has to fall away in a semicircle so the left shoulder drops away okay. and allows the right shoulder to come around and up okay. and then it stops the movement okay. and holds you there. Okay. See that? Got you. Okay. And that's okay. how you are actually adding to the tension as well, isn't it? All that rotation, right? This, this arm is doing this and you, what you're rotating. Even yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to create more tension if you're trying to force the surf. This should just be a very relaxed movement, all right? Nope. Okay? I'm keeping it here. I feel very, like... So, synchronizing this movement is really a, a precise thing, yeah, let me see. but the, so more, but the more precise you get it, the better. So I'll take the ball out of the equation. So if you watch almost every pro, almost every pro in the modern game, you'll see them get into their trophy and the left hand will come away first and it'll be the catalyst to get the shoulders turning and then the racket will fall and catch up. And the two come together almost at the same time okay. here. So we don't, want the, we don't want to look like this yeah, right, because right. now you're out of sync. So the synchronization of the two arms is a big piece of optimizing your serve performance. Okay, all right. Uh-huh, raise the left arm. Now bring it down. Well, let's do that again. Raise, get yourself up in your trophy. Now, relax this nice and soft, supple okay. like a string. This one's gonna come away and tuck. Okay. This one's gonna loosen and catch up as okay. these two come together. And you're gonna be just like this, looking up there at that, and you're gonna feel this right under there. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah, I got you. That's exactly where Radich is, Djokovic is, mm -hmm. even yeah. Andy Murray. And a lot of people, you know, Andy Murray's serve, you know, what Andy does, and I'll, we'll show the picture here in a moment, what Andy does is he plays it, he tucks it, and he releases it. So both arms yeah, kind right. of, so both arms go like that. Yeah, right, right. But when he's making contact, his left hand is underneath his right hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that many plays like Andy Murray that do that. Players. There's not too many players that let it flow. I think I think yeah. team does that too now. Yeah, I think everything but his is locked yeah. underneath to a contact. Yeah. 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 So, right. yeah. Hmm? yeah. That guy creates a lot of tension in his shot. Steam. He really rotates. He really just. He's hardworking. He's a he's a yeah. He's a guy. Good Austrian German ethic. Okay. Earlier, yeah, and, and again, part of this is that your toss is naturally low, yeah. so this whole sequence has to happen very quickly. Mm, that's why. Okay. And, and again, it's part of it's your style, so we have to say, okay, what is your style, and what, how, how much are we going to try to adjust that? Adjust so, I think you can still get it, yeah. it's just going to happen at a much shorter interval than, say, my serve, which is more of a higher toss and a little bit of a slower tempo. Yeah. yeah. I okay. would like to have a little slower tempo, it would probably be helpful for me. It would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better. Good. So the last piece I want to put in there now is I want you to, and this is what most tennis players do, we hit the serve and the first thing we do is we, we look at the ball. How'd I do? And all the, once we make contact, all the attention goes over there. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. want you to do that. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're going to watch the ball, right? Obviously you're going to watch the ball. You're going to watch the ball leave and whatever, but then I still want you to stay in touch with what you're doing. So how I want you to finish is I want you to finish Facing the net with the racket right in front of you like this. It doesn't okay. need to go beyond this, okay? Where the right hand is right right in front of the right hip. That's my racket ending now, you know? Well, it's just kind of flipping down there somewhere. Okay. I want you to feel like it's, it holds there. Okay. Hold. Yes. Just let it come through. Let it come through. Let it rotate away. Come down to you and just hold it right there. Because you're, you're going to need to get it in front of you anyway so that you can just pick it up. Okay, like that. Okay. So hold it there. Okay? Ah. 
pretty good. I thought initially you were going to have trouble because the toss barely got high enough. But see, did you feel how you, you felt the control of the swing, the pattern of the swing? Yeah. Let's see if you could do a couple more like that. That was pretty good. Better. Good. One more. Let's try it again. Good. Let's get the ball up a little, a little higher this time so you can have a little more time to work with it. Hold. Good. So, what I'm actually secretly doing <laughs> <laughs> is that the intention, the intention to control the end is realigning your swing tempo. Okay. Because initially when we first started working on your serve, your swing was actually faster in the downward phase mm -hmm. than it is now for sure. And it was, it was, the swing speed was in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. But the intention to bring it here and hold it is actually slowing you down in the downward part. The ball's already gone, you can't yeah. help it. That's right. right? And yeah. because the swing is becoming more upward, once you get to the top, it has to, it has to begin to decelerate. It can't, it can't keep going. So it hits a point where it can't go any further, point of return, and it yeah. kind of floats down. I'm still so the, my grip a little bit, of course. Yeah. But, so yeah. The, the downward part of the swing should actually be slower than the upward part, right? Okay. That makes sense? Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Questions at all? No. Um, work to do. Well, yeah, but boy, the progress has been outstanding. You've gotten come a long way on the grip. Yeah. Just be in tune yeah. with that when you come up to yep. do your serve. Make sure you set it up. Yeah. You do your routine. Think of Yvonne Lendl. He'd reset his hands. You'd even look at it and go like this and feel where he was. Yeah. Make sure you're there. That'll help you. Yeah. Okay. I feel I'm more relaxed. I don't know if it shows or not, but I feel a little more relaxed. Oh, than, uh, the racket is moving. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. A much big difference. Much Appreciate a big, big difference. And then um, when you're tossing the ball, Try to avoid this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and instead yeah. be looking at the point of release. So you're looking right. at the court and then transfer your eyes yeah, like to the point of release. That's, That's going to help you quite a bit to stabilize. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then work on how the left hand comes away and is the mm -hmm. catalyst that brings the swing to the ball and gets the shoulders to rotate. Okay. And then hold that finish. Yeah. Right? Okay. And I, yeah. think, I think you're on your way. My gosh, what a big, big difference, huh? So I see a uh, pretty significant transformation. Why don't you tell me about that? Yeah, I, I, I see it in my own play, and, and I'm, I'm more relaxed and uh, easy power. Okay. You know, less tension. So you're performing better in matches as well. You I, feel? I, slowly, I'm beginning to, to do that. Right. Starting to trust the movement. Yeah, just starting to trust right? it. Yeah. Well, you were you're ten you were ten years into the yeah, wrong know, movement, and now we're we're yeah. in three or four yeah. months. We're starting to get the right ideas. Right. Got to let it go. Right. Yeah. So recommendations to our viewers from you just just do it do what john tells you to do it works <laughs> definitely great works. so you're on your way to an outstanding transformation i think you should thank come you back sir. in a few more months looking forward to and uh show your serve off again i'm looking forward to it thank all right you, thank, thank you thanks thank you.